G'day folks, well here we are in lockdown number seven. <laughs> this afternoon I've got my wife Loretta with me and I'm fishing in my local waterway here to see if I can catch a late season Murray Cod using worms or cheese for bait. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. As you can see, the water is still quite high. The river is still very high, but it has gone down enough to allow me to wet a line. So with this rod, with 50 pound braided line and a large hook, I've got a big bit of cheese. That's the cod rod. This is rod number two. This is a slightly smaller, a smaller sinker. I've got a single Jan Jack worm on there. Because they're so big and fat, I've just decided to put one on the hook. This is the, the carp rod. I'll probably call this the carp rod or the worm rod or anything else during the night. I'll probably just keep changing the name as I go. That can go there. Right, both lines are in. It's time to play the waiting game. It's two hours until dark. It's an hour and a half till sunset. So this will fill out two hours nicely. It's 18 degrees today and there's already a few mosquitoes. Do you want some aerogut? Yes, please. What the hell? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> That's a ripper, isn't it? It's still half full. It's been rolling around the back of the old jackaroo for about the last God knows how many years. But it's still half full. Still smells like aerogut and it's going to keep us safe. <laughs> now we can see the river's quite high. The last two lockdowns we had I couldn't fish these places because the river was too high. I did come here on the last day of the last lockdown and this tree over here, the water was around the back of the tree so it's dropped about a metre and a half since then. I had a couple of bites on worms, I thought I might catch a carp but I missed out. But at least I've got a couple of bites so the signs are good. Now it's dropped quite a bit and this time last year when the river was at a similar height I was catching a few Murray cod. So I am actually cautiously optimistic that I might catch a fish here tonight. I'm going to get this in position, if I hook a fish there I'm going to probably hold the rod over the log and go over that way, I reckon. Bottomy cheese! Oh, oh, can't get down here quick enough and it stopped. Something's just pecking at me cheese here. I've just sneakily snuck down to my rod here nice and quietly. Just had a nibbly -o on the cheesy -o. Much better bite. That's a much better bite. Oh, too slow. I'm too far back. The problem is the ground is really muddy and really slippery and if I charge down here too fast I'm gonna fall straight over and probably end up in the river oh, shit I was getting a bite, I've nearly slipped over coming down here then oh a big carp just jumped over there I was getting a little tap on my cheese here and I'm just slowly walking down and a carp jumped over there the signs are promising the signs are there something's gonna happen something's gonna happen tonight I'm going to catch one. A bite. <laughs> Got him. I just said to Loretta two seconds ago, why can't I get a bite? I said, I'm going to go and put another Jan Jack worm on with that worm. I've only got a single Jan Jack worm on here. I was going to put two on and I was actually out of my chair. I was out of my chair coming over here to, uh, to put a new worm on. And just as I was walking down, I got a bite. Timed to perfection. Can you keep your eye on the cod rod for me? sit here for a while and not get a bite then we'll get uh, two at once I'm going to have to go over there under the mud flats past the cow poo oh it's a big old mud marlin do you want to do me a favour? do you want to put your um that wide angle, have you got your wide angle lens? Get a photo for me. Awesome, ta. Loretta's got a super duper high class Canon 5D bird photography lens. So instead of a mobile phone photo, I've got my own personal photographer with me today. I'm just going to tire him out a little bit. I'm going to get a measurement too. He's quite a big old mud marlin. Just check that I am filming too. 
I think I am. Yes. And I'm also heading towards a bat flat tree. I think I'm down on about 15%. Right. Are we ready? Are you ready to make your way into the net? Oh, scaled whale. I tell you what, he's a bit of a whale. It's a lot of, I think he's not excessively long. He's very fat and healthy. I'm putting him at about 63 centimetres. Well, he's not quite ready yet, or is he? No, he saw the net and panicked. And that's why you always net fish head first. I can't believe that. I was just about to get up and put a fresh Janjak worm on. I thought, this one's been on there since I got here an hour ago. So I thought I'll put a second one on with it. Which would be uh, a nice fresh smell. And as I've got up to do it, I've got to bite. Look at the bend in the rod. Gee whiz, this fish has got some go in it. You got your lens ready there? Yep. Awesome. Shouldn't be much longer. Just keep your eye on that rod too, are you? Because if a cod bites at it, it'll probably... Oh, actually, that's in a pretty solid rod holder, but... I almost had it in the net a minute ago, now it's way back over there. Come in, come in closer. The head shakes are becoming much less frequent. He has managed to get the line wrapped around his top fin though. You can't do that. And it makes him harder to reel in. This is the, the, the stage of the game where you can lose a fish if you become impatient because with the line wrapped around that top fin they can actually sort of saw through the line a bit and break the line or cut the line even though i'm using monofilament line it might have just come off actually i think i think it did too i've just come back to being hooked in the mouth only that makes me breathe a bit better oh, come back gee whiz i almost had this fish a couple of minutes oh now he's hooked in the back fin again i almost had this fish a couple of minutes ago there's my other rod looking down there. Secure. <laughs> Standing in about three inches of mud here. Only two weeks ago this river was flowing over that bank over there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is great fun. I actually get a lot of satisfaction out of catching carp. Oh, mud marlins. to say come on I'm getting, I'm getting impatient even if the fish isn't oh gee whiz he's got some go imagine how long it would take to land this if I didn't have a landing net what was that I don't know. another fish just jumped to see of some kind come on come on come on in yes got him Let's get a quick pick and a measurement, you beauty! Right, very, very fat. Oh, he's got to be high 60s. 65. From there, 64. 64 very fat centimetres of mud marlin. Thanks for coming to play the game. Time to put me line back in and uh, dispose of you. See you later, mate. With a stroke of luck, the Jan Juck has struck and I didn't catch a duck. I caught a big fat old juicy mud marlin. Now I've got two more of my online worms on the hooky. I call them online because you actually buy these worms online. I think uh, it's fishingworms.com.au. I put a link in the uh, video description below anyway. I'm just about to pack up and then Loretta spotted something in the tree over there. 
Luckily, I've got an O-Light. This is an, an O-Light Seeker 2 that I've got to review shortly. And I'm just playing with it. And uh, we pulled it out, shot it on the tree, and you can see there's a possum. I don't know whether you can see him in the frame or not. He's right in the middle of the frame there about now. Loretta saw it move in the fading light. I couldn't even see what she was looking at. That's really cool. How bright is this O-Light though? Look at the light, it's not even dark and it's sliding up the whole river. <laughs> I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. G'day Mr. Possum. Oh, buddy, was he? Well, folks, that concludes our first fishing trip in lockdown number seven. I only caught... Oh, buddy, mozzie. Well, folks, we've had a close-to-home afternoon adventure during lockdown. Ah, oh, bloody... Well, folks, that concludes this video. Loretta and I have had a fantastic afternoon. Had a few bites on the cheese, caught the one carp on the worm, got to see a possum. It's been very relaxing, close to home, a lot of fun. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, want to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.